Steve Lich. All right, so this is the second game in my three-game Steamroller 2012 tournament uh, reports. The second game is against a, another Scorn player. He has E. Hexerus, and I've chosen to play my Epic Scar list again. Um, we're playing the same scenario we played in the first game, which is process of elimination, and I think that I'm going to be able to do well. This is my army again. I have a Pistol Wraith on the far left with the Nightmare. I have Epic Scar behind, and I have a Minnow Meter to Bane Thralls and Death Jacket. Here he has an Archidon, a max unit of Pain Givers, a Gladiator, a Cannoneer, um, Epic Hexeris, Orin Midwinter, and maybe one more solo, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But after playing Scorn Round 1, I feel a little bit more comfortable and ready for this matchup. The lists are sort of similar, both kind of spell type lists. Um, we both have two titans. So here's Scorn Turn 1. Basically just um, runs all this stuff up. Obviously not just run some rushes and stuff. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, put up some upkeeps, I think Ashen Veil. Uh, pretty uneventful turn one though. So here is my Crix turn one. I run up the Pistol Wraith, run up the Nightmare, run up Death Jack, run up the Bane Thralls, move up Scar, I put Death Ward on the Nightmare, and I put Admonition on the Death Jack. Um, just kind of preparing. Alright, so here's Scorn 2. He flies up his Archidon over here next to this building, and he uses it to cast spells because it's an Arc Node. Uh, he uses Ashes to Ashes on my Bane Thralls, and if you know anything about War Machine and Hordes, you know that you never want Ashes to Ashes cast on your infantry, because it targets D6 nearest infantry models, so he rolled well and wiped out 5 of the 6 Bane Thralls. The Cannoneer shot the Nightmare and did about 8 damage. Alright, so here is Crick's turn too. Now on this turn, I end up moving up Scar, and uh, because we're playing chess clocks, I kind of stress myself out, and I rush activated Scar, and I didn't pop my feet. So this ended up not being the turn when a lot of action went down. Instead it kind of was a little bit more of another defensive turn, just making sure that I could get the first strike. The Bainsall charges over does a little damage to Archidon. Alright, here's Scorn, turn 3. He kills my last Bane Thrall with Archidon, lightning strikes away. He moves his Cannoneer over here to be holding this objective. So, Nightmare and the Cannoneer are the only things in that left objective. Uh, he takes another shot at Nightmare, but since I have the cover, he m misses. And Hexeris camps a pretty good amount of Fury around four or five, making the assassination pretty unlikely for me. So with my plans for assassination pretty much ruined, I needed to focus on the scenario. So we'll see what I end up doing. All right, so Scar moves up seven inches, pops her feet, uses Perdition to kill a Pain Giver, which allows Deathjack to move up into a position to charge. Um, now the Death Jack charges the Gladiator, leaves it with like two boxes left, the Nightmare charges the Cannoneer and kills it and scores a point in the left. So I have one control point now in the le uh, from the left objective, and now I have to score in the right objective to win. And if I score one more time, I'll win because you need two points to win, so we'll see what I can do with all of my models untargetable for one round. So here my opponent uh, pretty much just fans out all of his stuff and runs it and makes it so that it's going to be as hard as possible for me to clear out the zone to score. He flies the Archdon over the top to the very, very back corner of my right objective, and he runs three Pain Givers into this right objective. So if I'm going to win, it's going to be very, very difficult for me to, and I don't need to leave the Nightmare in the left objective, but if I want to stop him from scoring, I do. So this really puts me in a jam because the Archdon has only taken like seven points of damage, so he's still pretty full. Okay, so my turn four, I end up, since we're playing chess clocks, 
I take about a minute and a half to think about what I need to do so I don't fuck it up, as I tend to do. And so what I end up doing is I load up the death jack a little bit, and I keep a lot on Scar. I now end up, I, per, I perdition with death jack, kill one guy, move over in between the other two, kill them both, Scar moves over, because she, she can't charge because he's in her back arc, moves over, kills him, and I win by scoring in that objective. So this was a really close game, and it was really, really fun. Tune in for game three.